Hey guys, how's it going? So let's continue our paper. Okay, so this is our 2014 paper, uh, in November, paper one, okay, uh, for Zimsec. So question 13a, it says, um, write down the next term in the sequence. So you have 81 divided by 625, then you get, uh, you have uh, 27 followed by 27 divided by 125, followed by nine divided by 25. So these questions, they are no longer popular for uh, in Zimsec. But then they are uh, the reasoning here it's uh, just as much about uh, the myths that you're studying right now as any other topic okay so here you're supposed to be um to investigate what's really happening to the terms here so for example here the first thing that i notice is 81 becomes 27 so this one uh it means that they must have uh, divided by by three okay and just to be sure you actually have to test it for the next term as well 27 becomes nine so they definitely divided by three okay so and then for this one they divided by by five so test it for 125 to 25 so they divided by five again so obviously that's what they're doing they're on the to at the top they just dividing by three and then at the bottom they are dividing by by five okay so we're going to follow the same thing that they're doing and divide um nine by 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 three then you get three here and then divide 25 by five then you get five okay so the next term in the sequence would actually be uh three by three over five just like this and on the b part you are told this is standard form so 1.11 multiplied by 10 to the power five divided by 3.7 times 10 to the power negative three you're asked to express your answer in standard form so the the, the reasoning uh, here is um this number which you can call the multiplier or sometimes it's called the coefficient uh, it's denoted by a so a is usually um it has to be equal to or greater than one but then it has to be less than less than 10 okay so that means 10 is not included if it's 9.9 .9, then that's fine but then it shouldn't be 10 but then it should be equal to or, or greater than one. So one is also included, okay? And then the uh, n, n is, a, is an integer. It simply means positive or negative or number here. That's how we identify standard form. And you asked you to simplify this. So this is paper one. So uh, my best guess would be that, um, my, my best guess would be that uh, these numbers, they're actually divisible, okay? so. Uh, 1.11 might actually be uh, a multiple of 3.7 okay since they don't want you to use a calculator uh, for paper one so that's uh, another way to reason through some of these questions okay so 3.7 here you see that uh, our number at the top it's actually ending in in one so um, I'm thinking 7 here, so 7 multiplied by 3, then you get 21. So I'm thinking maybe 1.11 should be 3 times 3.7, okay? So, but then you have to uh, verify this. So here, uh, let's just verify. So 3.7 multiplied by 3, okay? So this is our best guess, and, and then see what, what, what happens. So here, you get 21, 1, uh, then you carry the two and then here nine uh three and three then you get three into uh, three times multiply by three then you get nine then plus two then you get 11 okay so you're dealing with one decimal place so you actually get uh 11 point point one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to want to manipulate this to create uh, 11 point point one so that i just know that i'll get three at the end of the day okay so here uh when this one becomes 11 point one this one should uh decrease by one okay so this one would be uh 10 to the power to the power four in the same sense that in the sense that the other 10 i will have multiplied to 1.11 to get 11.1 .1, okay this just makes my my working convenient so 3.7 multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 like this so here i just know that 3.3 since i verified here i should be able to get three here okay and uh so each with three multiply by 10 to the power four then divided by simply means that there's a negative here it's it's always there and you have negative three here so you're going to put another negative so you actually get three multiply by 10 to the power 10 to the power uh four plus four plus three 
then you get 7 here. So your answer would be 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. So let's let's move over to question 14. It says given that V is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Okay, you are you asked to uh, express r in terms of v, pi, and and h. So this is simply change of subject of our formula. Okay, so let's see if we can. So this one is 1 third and pi r squared h like this. So you want you want r. So if you want r, you're going to have to get rid of uh, maybe this this part first. So one third here you have to get rid of one third so in, in order for you to get rid of um our fractions you just multiply by the reciprocal for this case it'd be three okay so there's a reason why i'm putting over here so the reason is that you can also get rid of pi and and h in the same breath okay so this one would be pi h like this such that uh, uh these these ones since they're multiplied when you divide them out then they just disappear from the from the left hand side just like this okay so 3 would cancel this and then you'd get 3v over pi h is equal to then r squared here so r squared to in order to get r we should uh, take square root of both sides so i'm going to rearrange in the same breath again so here we should get r and then you should get equal to uh, 3v square root uh, square root of 3v over over pi h just like this okay so this one would be your this one would be your change of subject okay so this one would be your final answer and then on the on the b part so you you if you don't want just uh, just so you know if you don't want to uh you know do this in one step it's still fine but then normally they don't give too many marks so maybe it's just two marks or three marks so if you just take three steps sometimes i that means that you get to save time okay and uh, on the b part you are asked to find r for these um you have to substitute all these so the first thing that you do is um you never use especially when you're dealing with division and uh, multiplication never use um uh improper never use mixed fractions okay so here you're actually dealing with pi equal to 22 over 7 and then v equal to you're supposed to change this okay so 29 by 3, 9 by 3, you get 27. So 7, uh, k2, then here you get uh, 6 plus uh, plus 2, then you get 8. So you are going to get uh, 80, 87. Okay, so 87 plus plus uh, 1, then you get 88. So this one should be 88 over, over 3. Okay, and h is simply 7. The reason I had to change this is this one is a... Uh, is a is a mixed fraction so we're supposed to change it to improper fraction that's the reason since we're going to be substituting it uh to this equation here so r is equal to then you're going to put your, your square root like this okay it's a, it's a big one this time so three then multiply by 88 over three they're on the same are uh, there you can think of them as the as the, as on the numerator okay so they're on the numerator here and then on the uh, denominator, you have 22 over 7 multiplied by what? By uh, h. Our h is what? It's 7. So here you actually get uh, 3 and 3, they will cancel. And then 7 and 7, they will cancel. And this one and this one, they will cancel to give 4. Okay, so you have square root of, of 4. Square root of 4 is equal to plus or minus uh, 2. But then you're dealing with the radius here obviously so it's just two okay so radius cannot be negative and then yeah that's it for for this question i, I hope you're happy uh make sure you like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next video you both out. <music>